Hey, I wanted to do a couple of videos for October 2018 and for this first one I wanted to talk about something that I've uh, never brought up before I, I don't believe and that's uh, what could have been with the Empire Universe. I always said the Empire was going to be a two book series although there are also a lot of short stories set in the same universe and you can find a list of those in the notes section on the uh, the Empire Facebook page, I'll link that. But it was always going to be a two book series and I called the second book Empire's End to affirm that. But um, back as early as 2012, 2013, I did entertain the idea of doing uh, a novella which would serve as an epilogue of sorts for the character of the Reaper. By the way, Empire, Empire's End, spoilers ahead, so proceed at your own risk. First to get the, uh, the, the messy background stuff out of the way, the reason that there is not an Empire a novella is because um, there are a couple of different entities, companies, who hold rights to um, the universe and, and its characters, and I would have needed express written permission, uh, I believe, from both in order to go ahead with self-publishing uh, this novella. And getting that permission proved to be really difficult, not because there were any holdouts, but because there was definitely uh, a communication issue. Long story short, it was really hard to get some people to answer an email. So after probably about a year of this, um, I decided to let it go because, well, it seemed like, for whatever reason, things just were not going to be able to move forward. I had done what I could on my end. Should I have pushed harder? Should I have been more of a pest? I don't think that would have helped me on other fronts. I think that, I think I was pushy enough and just, you know, hit a brick wall. So, what would have been? would have been a novella called Empire Strange Aeons, uh, obviously Lovecraft reference, with Strange Aeons even death may die. And that's basically what we have here is a story set about 200 years after Empire's End, dealing with the Reaper, the former Reaper, now known as Adam, who gave up his post and consequently has begun to change somewhat. He's begun to slowly become more human physiologically. He's also lost most of his memory of previous events. Um, he's become this real sort of grizzled man with no name type character who travels through the Badlands uh, trying to protect the the scant few survivors who are still out there. Meanwhile, um, he has some visions of Lily, the girl from the Empire books who ended up becoming the next Reaper, succeeding him, and uh, now known as Lilith, although he doesn't, again, he doesn't recall their uh, previous encounters. And he encounters Lucifer, who, as it turns out, um, in, in this story, Lucifer there's no such thing as, as angels or demons. What Lucifer was, was uh, the first Reaper, conceived specifically for that purpose by God. But God later abandoned the concept and basically abandoned Luf Lu But God later basically abandoned the concept and abandoned Lucifer after um, deciding that the Reaper needed to be someone who was once mortal and someone who had an intimate concept of death. It also needed to be someone with the ability to embrace and accept these supernatural concepts such as the personification of death and an afterlife. So subsequent Reapers were taken from humankind and they were always children and they were always orphans. Those were the criteria. And of course we know that to be true of Lily. Um, there's a very brief bit of a flashback in Empire's End implying the same for Adam. As children they encounter their predecessor and they they go through the transition. Learning these things from Lucifer who has come to 
really, uh, as with Adam, sympathize, empathize with humanity, feeling that they've been similarly abandoned by their creator. Despite learning these things, Adam still he doesn't regain his memory. He's he's more focused on protecting this little band of survivors who are traveling to an area where there are rumored to be viable ships. The Reaper, as I mentioned, Adam, I should say, is, is becoming more human and consequently during an, a, a zombie hunt when he is attacked and bitten he finds that he's actually bleeding and that he has now become infected. This being who's always been on the outside looking in, watching people go through um, the the terrible turmoil of of infection and transformation. Now he's infected, and he basically does what a lot of people would do. He goes into denial about it. He hides the bite. He tries to convince himself that he can somehow get past it because of of who he is. It's a very bleak, nihilistic story in a lot of ways. But I mean that's. I think the same could be said for Empire and Empire's End because there was never ever going to be any sort of clean resolution. No one was going to find the cure. The zombies weren't all just going to die. And this story would have ended with the Reaper, Adam, becoming a zombie, um, being hunted down by the survivors uh, who, whom he, he had been protecting, and they they then they reach uh, the west coast this this place the shipyard and they find that there's absolutely nothing there and so a conversation a recurring theme throughout the story would have been is just surviving enough is that enough to to justify living i mocked up i wouldn't call it it wasn't a cover concept i basically I took a few of the basic ideas that i had for a cover and i wanted to just put them all in one place and so that's this That wouldn't by any means have been the actual cover, but, um, but yeah, so that's what it would have been. Now it's conceivable that at some time in the future, I may be able to write more Empire stories. Will I write this one or some variation on it? Um, I don't know. Uh, I've accepted that 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 just may never happen. But for um, for fans out there of the Empire series, I wanted to to let you know. Uh, what might have been. I'm going to do a follow-up video to this about the uh, the strange dead and although there's um, other than the word strange there's no relationship between the two uh, universes um, I think thematically at least there is a through line and I and calling it the strange dead that was in part a nod to strange aeons as well as um, just the fact that I'm kind of known for writing weird, uh, you know, out of left field apocalyptic stories. So I'll talk about that in uh, the next vlog.